Hey, Sean. This is Matt with the Action Steps here. I saw your, your question, so I'm going to kind of just show you exactly what this program is about. You get this set of actions here, and I'm going to show you how this will quickly break this down into separations for screen printing. I emailed you some examples, just kind of like a screenshot of my Instagram, Facebook, there's plenty of examples there if you just search for Mikey Designs, M-I-K-E-Y. Uh, that's my parent company, Business Action Steps, just happens to be a course and product that I sell and teach. I teach a lot of people how to screen print simulated process. So if you're doing DTG, you're probably used to just kind of hitting the button and heat pressing a, a graphic to a shirt. So in this case, with screen printing, we're using different screens to effectively kind of simulate full color images, right? So I'm gonna hit proof window here. That's basically uh, going to, let's go ahead and hit proof window. So here's your original artwork over here to the left. Uh, this is the art that has yet to be separated. So we're just going to separate this real quick and I just have to hit this button start action steps so that pulled all the colors out of the separation there are just a, a couple tweaks that we're going to make so what does what it broke it down to excuse me it's still still getting the day going here uh, we got a white base red blue lemon yellow purple green turquoise cool gray and white uh, there's a lot of people that have a six color press and don't or, or can't necessarily print all these colors and I'll show you how we can easily reduce that down. But first let's get this closer to your graphic over here. Uh, generally for the most part the colors that we're going to adjust or play with the most is going to be your white base. So we'll hit we'll select our white base come down here and hit the adjust color and we can kind of pump that up a little bit we'll hit ok uh, with red it's kind of and I teach this all in the course uh, when we're creating a white base generally red is one of those colors that the the white base is kind of pulled back a little bit so if we printed this as is this uh, white underneath this red. The red wouldn't be very bright as you can see here. So how we go about making that a bright red is we need to make sure there's more white on our white base. So I'll just hold, I'm on a Macintosh, but if you're on a PC, you would just hold control. We'll select this red and we're still, uh, our white base is still what's active here. So we'll go to adjust color with that little button there. And then we'll squeeze this down until this is a brighter red. We'll hit OK and deselect that. So now when we turn our red on, we got a brighter looking red. So it does look like this graphic has a little bit of blue. It certainly has lemon yellow. So that's going to make those browns of the uh, the dirt track for this, uh, I take it's a little mini sprint car. Doesn't look like there's a whole lot of purple. There's some up in here, but nothing that I would even waste time exposing a purple screen for. There's no green. There is some turquoise, gray, and then we have a highlight white. Highlight white is another one of those colors where we can go back and adjust that. So we'll, compared to our original graphic here, we can add or take away from it. In this case, I'm going to pull a little bit out. Uh, we might even want to make sure our red is a nice bright red. And I'll walk you through all this stuff step by step. I know that I'm going a little fast here, but I've been doing this for a long while. 
And with our white base, we can probably do one little final adjustment because it does look like uh, we've got a little more, uh, it's not quite as, we'll, we'll just pull some of the white base out. This is at least what I would do to get it closer to this. And that's pretty much done for the most part. Aside from, let's reduce it to, let's say, six colors. So we said that we didn't really have anything in this purple. So if we turn everything off, there's a couple little things. So we could come over here and hit Merge Purple. That will get rid of that. And let's say we just want to reduce this down to six colors. We can hit Merge Turquoise. We'll turn all this stuff back on and we can get rid of this green because there's there's really not a ton of green in there. Who knows? We might keep that or we can apply that green to the blue and the yellow. And with those colors over printed on top of one another, wet on wet, it'll give you a green. So we would take that green and basically apply that to our blue. So we'd take our green, hit apply, and we do the same thing to the yellow. Image, apply image, and we're using our green. So now we can just trash that green, and we can make this blue uh, we can adjust it to make it a little, you know, more vibrant and perhaps change the color of it to be something a little bit more along the lines of uh, what we're working with here. Um, so it does look like might be a color that's kind of covering it up a little bit and that looks like our, our yellow because we did apply that green so we'll select this blue come over to our yellow and we'll just pull some of that yellow out I would recommend I mean if if you have a press that has more than six colors that'd be ideal but, you know, sometimes you have to make do with what you have. So in this case, we could change our blue to a slight, and this will, what blue you use really will be uh, determined on press. And so we can change this blue to whatever blue you want. And what I mean by on press is there's different color inks that you can use. I'm not sure how familiar you are with uh, screen printing, but you can use different different color blues in there to get the effect that you want. So this is how it would look with six colors. Um, for something like this, I would retain that turquoise, but if you can't, then uh, this is kind of a, a way to reduce it down. But go over and check out some of the examples. This is a just kind of a quick overview of how all this stuff works and then we do have uh, let me go to the course itself uh, so when you become a student you'll you'll get your account where you can access your courses you'll have your your various downloads uh, which you can always come back if you happen to lose the separations or any of your purchases, you can always come back and click and it will download it for you. Uh, in this case, you're interested in action steps. So here is the course itself that walks you through how to install it. There's modules that cover installing action steps. We, we go over enhancing the, the image dealing with your, uh, you're reducing it down to six or four colors, uh, and it goes on and on. 
but you're only provided with information that you need in order to achieve great results, like we kind of like we were talking about a moment ago, uh, the highlight white, adjusting that. Uh, we do have some color theory modules in here that kind of helped you develop an eye for uh, separation. So I, I do dive into that as well. And this is a ever uh, expanding course. So in other words, there I do have a, a Facebook group which you can join and ask questions. Um, so we do have a group in which you can ask your questions and I answer the questions other members do as well that are have gone through the process and you know if you need help we're, we're there to help one another out and there I mean there's some examples here of what students have printed kind of their a way for them to showcase their their wins and to get help with any kind of hang-ups. Here's some of Kyle's work and he had never screen printed and however he's an artist and these are some of the designs that he's created and printed which are very much I think up your alley. So hopefully this answers some of your questions and really, the, the actions aren't just the, the big thing. It's a community. You get help. And really, it's a, a great way to, if you haven't got into screen printing, to get as much support as you can. So let me know if you have any other questions. Uh, thanks again, Sean. Have a good day. Talk to you later, bud.